Well, hello there, nerds. I was gifted a g <laughs> an Android gift card by a friend in real life that uh, he, he he was just like, here, I, I heard you do mobile games, and I'm just like, yeah, boy, so I got a few more orbs. That's kind of nice. Anyways, um, let's, uh, let's try for some Olivia, maybe. Just a bit, see what ha comes our way. That is nothing of the sort. None of that is Olivia. None of that will be Olivia, ever. What is my life? Anyways, um, we're actually going to be talking about something because I got asked this question a little bit ago. Um, God, I'm getting a lot of Sheenas lately. This is weird. Uh, mostly in, in lieu of... Oh, no! I have to... We'll be right back real quick. Okay. I'm back now. Tossed out a few really bad four stars and three stars. And, and you know... Just, just kind of went crazy. That is... Oh my God. Now this is the colors I... I mean, I'll, I, I guess I'll try for another Azura or something. Maybe I'll get another Inigo. Ha! Ha ha. That's funny game. That's really funny. I just want Olivia. I just want to try for colorless. That is Baruka. That is not any of these. Anyways, I was going to be talking about a few things, but I seem to be quite confused as to what I was going to be talking about in the first place. So... Uh, let's talk about that, because, you know, the thing that I'm trying to say. Uh, so several of you were asking me why the new units, their stats were so low, etc, etc, etc. Um, because some of you seem generally kind of confused as to the, the whole idea of how the dancing units can have such low stats, and, well, there's a combination of things, and... Most of that has to do with how modifiers are attached to every unit. In fact, Gunter here is probably a good example because he he's he's an odd mixture of things in that he's actually one of the two units that only has this modifier known as Veteran, which, if I recall how Veteran works in this game, it's uh, characters like him start out strong, but his stat growths towards the end are typically kind of bad. Like, he doesn't get too strong of stat growth, at least in this game. And that's that's kind of something you don't see, is that in the background of this game, there's a lot of weird little intricate things like that. And we'll go over that in a second, but let's finish summoning, see if I can't get at least... Okay, thank you. That's at least a few colorless. <laughs> I just want Olivia, okay? I just... I want to get rid of colorless hell. I don't want to deal with it anymore. That is a Niles. He is cruel to be kind. I don't know what that even means. Anyways, um... So, yeah. For those asking, when, 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 I don't under you know I don't understand how stats work. Well, I, I mean I can't give you the whole mathematical rundown. That would be kind of strange for me because I'm not good at math. But <laughs> that's that's the stupidest the stupidest excuse I've ever had. But uh, I guess we can probably talk about it a little bit just to give you a general overview. Um, I would really like to get an Olivia though, but that that is a Sakura. And that's okay. I mean, as long as it's not five stars, thank goodness. Okay, well, that was... Oh. I still have... A, I thought I was done there for a second. I was not. Oh, of course you give me two colorless. Well, we'll try for one colorless and see what happens. But uh, I'm wasting time exponentially with this. <laughs> I know, I know. That is a Jacob. If you are five stars... Okay, thank God. So... A lot of you were asking, Sages, why are the dancing units so low stat-wise, you know, from BST? Well, the simplest example is that every character, when they're added into the game, they're kind of assigned a certain tag in their stats, or <laughs> I guess I couldn't really call it a tag, a modifier, something like that, where based on what kind of unit they are, they're given a certain amount of stat value. Um... <laughs> Just to give you an example, okay, uh, let's let's pull up Sugar Ray, because I know a lot of people like picking on him. <laughs> hey guys, there's a sudden cut here, because, well, I actually had to go and dig up Sugar Ray's stat pool here, because I was going to go into an example with him. Unfortunately, though, <laughs> I'm bad at this, and my, uh, my stats that I had listed here, because I don't have him at level 40 yet, because I haven't leveled him, I've been focusing on, on his mommy. Um... God, that sounds really wrong. Still, nonetheless, <laughs> um, I actually had to go dig up his BST because for some reason I had Olivia's listed, which is weird. Anyways, from here, we'll just talk about it real quick. So, for those who don't know what BST is, that is base stat total. 
and that's essentially taking all of their stats at level 40 and adding it together to give you a value and usually that you know you can tell based on what that is what kind of mod modifiers your character had or how many stats were allocated for that character based on those uh, essentially with Shigure here and uh, well in three-fourths of what is essentially the dancer banner we do have a phenomenon here that we haven't seen in the game yet and that is mostly we've talked about range casters and how they get a little less stats and now we're talking about dancers who have a little less stats as well actually dancers have a lot less stats um, at least from this you know <laughs> from most units they have quite a bit less stats not terribly but still we, add, we are basically adding those together. You know, a ranged dancer is not something we've had before, so naturally their stats are going to be lower than what we're used to. Um, and unfortunately, I mean, I think at least for all of the ranged dancers, they're in the 140 range, with unfortunately Shigure being in the lowest of that, and I think he is at 139, potentially the lowest unit in the game to have. Um, so, unfortunately, that means that there are less stats to be allocated. Less stats to give to this character due to those modifiers, and that kind of shows in a lot of ways when it comes to their stats. But, I'm just going to tell you real quick that, you know, just because they have lower BST, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be bad. I mean, to give you an example, here is Fear. Um, she's a natural unit, she does not have the problems or at least the modifiers that would come from being a dancer and a ranged unit so naturally her stat values are normalized the only problem is that her stat distribution is in not so good areas mostly in resistance um, <laughs> so that's a little bit unfortunate for her that is kind of the example I can give you when it comes to stat distribution um, another example of that would probably be characters like Merrick and Henry who instead of focusing on attack or you know speed they've ended up in areas like defense resistance things like that where typically you don't see mages there and that's kind of how it works um, th does that mean that characters like Shigure and Inigo are terrible no I mean we've already talked about how Inigo can potentially be insanely powerful in the field if you're trying to counter some blue units that are more meta or you know trying to get rid of brave Lin or an archer who might be causing you problems but it does leave them less stat values to actually acquire and I mean if I were to uh, say anything it's it's unfortunate that Shigure of course has those problems but you know before we haven't had a dancer who is a melee you know we I mean we've had dancers who are melee units we haven't had ha any that have been ranged so naturally we are kind of seeing these lower stat pools and you know that can be a little bit distracting it can but it doesn't mean that they are any weaker in fact thankfully all of these units since they are dancers or singers, they have that kind of get get out of jail free card in a way, where they have the ability to give their action to another. So that's always something that's really cool, and something that just helps them out instead of being just in general seen as weak units. So that is the other reason that I always find it odd when people are like, "Man, their stats are so low," but you know, here they are with dancing, you know, and singing. So naturally. They just have that advance there, and of course my Inigo at level 40 doesn't have it, mostly because I have been trying to level up his, uh, <laughs> level him up with another dancer, so. Anyways, w if I were to, uh, you know, someone asked, what would be the worst combination for modifiers, or at least how, how could stat spreads be, you know, utterly obliterated if it were to be that? Well, let's just say you would you were to put, say, a dancing unit on a cavalier, or, well, uh, no, turn them into a cavalier unit. Put them on a horse, essentially. Uh, don't put them on a cavalier, that is, putting a dancer on top of a person riding a horse. That would be a totally different thing, and probably pretty odd, stat spread-wise. But still, nonetheless, that would be the one way to probably push stats even lower, because cavaliers have that disadvantage there. Um, that's mostly because they can move more. I, you know, 
I kind of can't recall if flyers actually do that. I don't think they do. I don't think they have any stat problems, or at least stat modifiers, because they technically have a weakness in archers. But I could be wrong. I honestly forget that one. <laughs> but uh, that would probably be how you could drive the stats further down. Is you know put them on a horse and make them a ranged caster, and then bam, there you go. Worst BST you've ever probably seen in the game. But how could you change that, you know, to offset it? Well, the other way you could do that is, of course, to give them a trainee uh, modifier, which would be certain characters like Amelia here. That means that they gain more stats as they go along, and typically they end up with the higher BST. I mean, Amelia here, since she's an armored unit, which, by the way, armored units, since they, of course, can't move very far, they have some of the higher BST in the game. Um... And when it comes to BST in entirely, uh, it really doesn't matter too much unless you're doing something like Arena where that kind of comes in. Um, the higher units with the BST mixed in with things like skill and how many times you've merged them. It, I'm looking at you rank 20 people. Uh, <laughs> when it comes to those kind of units, yeah, that's, that's where you're looking at BST um, mostly. And even, even then, I don't think you're really looking at it too much. But still, yeah, that... <laughs> That is, that is probably the best example of it. That doesn't necessarily mean it. I mean, just to give you an example, other trainee units that have this kind of advantage are characters like Tobin, uh, th that you know don't really do it technically. Uh, Faye and even the other Faye with the Y, and wow, thank you, random motorcyclist who has to continue to interrupt my. Uh, recording session that's still going in there because I want it to be funny anyways um, they are technically training units as well and phase phase adorable the other Faye not so much still um, characters like Naoi they're trainees as well typically a lot of the dragon units end up being that um, you know most of the most of the little chippy ones at least I guess or lolly I don't know what you want to call it anyways yeah that's that's basically what I'm trying to tell you here is why the stats are lower? It's mostly because of the modifiers. There's always those little intricate things behind the scenes that are adjusting and modifying your units. That's why the Black Knight, you know, and things like that tend to have higher stat values is, of course, because they're armored. Or, you know, you know, <laughs> add to the fact that, you know, Amelia is armored, but also a trainee. Or, you know, why veterans typically, like Gunter, I mean, there's only two units in the game right now that have that. Gunter and Jagen, Jagen, whatever you want to call him. Uh, they have a weird modifier where they're both veterans, where their stats are, you know, imp kind of good at the start, but they don't really gain stats or gain as many stats as they go along. So naturally, they kind of end up middle ground-ish or a little bit less. Uh, that's kind of another example. And then there's things like dancers, ranged units, cavaliers. They all adjust the character's stat pool as it goes along. So for those who are asking why the dancers are so low, there you go. It's because we've never had a character that uh, <laughs> really had uh, these modifiers before. We've never had a range cat. Uh, God damn it, range dancer before. Uh, so yes, that would be the example or reason as to why. And you've just listened to me ramble for so long, it makes me want to level up these little little bundles of joy. I don't even know which. You know what? Let's look at the stat pool real quick for that little tiki here. Young Tiki! Uh, uh, let's just see. Let's just see what her stat pool is real quick, because I actually am kind of curious, and I want to level up one of them, just to see how good she is. Uh, that's normal speed. That's normal. Uh -huh. Resistance Bane. Oh, she might. this one has an attack boon, by the looks of things. That's neat. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys understand my ramblings a bit here. I'm going to go and do a few things now and be lazy. That's my fun of it all. So, uh, I don't want to go into too much math, but basically uh, you can look that up on a wiki if you really want to. Uh, that's a lot to explain in a little time, and I figured I would just address it as cursory glance as I possibly could. Without going too over anyone's head or confusing myself. So, see you guys later.